given or good practices given for manufacturing for laboratory studies for clinical studies whereas uh, there are no guidelines clearly defined for conducting the research program because research programs include various types of science and technology and hence it is a combination of all the guidelines or practices which we study under the concept of gmp glp and clinical practices and hence in this presentation i made an attempt to discuss the general principles that are important in the research activities as well as certain good practices or guidelines given by the regulating bodies now research in pharmacy and uh, research and its importance what is the importance of research so you know that research means generating new data or new ideas generating new products new services etc and uh, research is very vital for development and in fact pharma industry itself is a research based or research oriented industry and without research there will be no growth in the pharma industry and hence research is an important activity in the pharma industry and which concerns with development of newer and newer medications and treatments and devices to for the curing diseases similarly in academic circles also research is very important and uh, without research you cannot uh, achieve excellence and uh, for institution and teachers research is very vital in fact their prime duty is the teaching but simultaneously the, all the teachers should also engage themselves in carrying out a good amount of research and hence teaching and research i consider as uh, two eyes for a teacher and both are equally important and uh, many times the research is given more weightage in the process of evaluation in the process of accreditation etc so during these evaluations for example recently the nif rankings are announced by the government and similarly institutions go for accreditation by nba accreditation by nac and for such other accreditations they consider more about the research activities done by the teacher and by the institution and in addition to the aspects of teaching and other other areas and hence normally the teacher performance is evaluated of course his primary duty is teaching even then the performance is evaluated by his research activities means how many sound publications he has how many patents he has like that and hence research is very vital and uh, now in recent rankings you see that uh, there are a, only a few institutions in andhra pradesh could achieve rank within 100 within 100 i can say only three governmental institutions and five private institutions uh, could find a place in the first 100 then we are having as many as uh, as many as the uh, 213 institutions offering pharmacy courses now out of them only eight could find a place within the first 100 what is the reason what is the reason and i think almost all in the 213 institutions teaching is good and students are passing out every year there are no failures so can you take it that education is good you cannot why the others could not find a place in the first 100 is that they ignored research there is no research and development in those institutions hence research is a good component in the evaluation so every institution every teacher should uh, concentrate more on research and now uh, research in pharmacy here i have made a list of areas of uh, interest of research in pharmacy and uh, first is the drug discovery and development research and you know well that it is a very lengthy process and it it involve development of uh, drugs 
and drugs are of three types as far as research is considered chemical drugs biologicals and phytochemicals and herbal drugs and hence the chemical drugs are by synthesis only they develop so organic synthesis still forms the major source of drugs and in recent years several protein and peptide and enzyme drugs have been developed during the last 20 25 years these are called biologicals their source is by biotechnological means and phytochemical and herbal drugs they are age old since long we are very much familiar with the herbal drugs and still it is continuing and a good source of these herbal drugs is is the plant materials and hence we need intensive research in these three areas that is organic synthesis biotechnological means as well as phytochemistry and herbal technology then they result in development of new drug molecules and when once the drug molecules are developed a lot of research is needed for its characterization it is called nca new chemical entity characterization and uh, so similarly analytical method development is another important area and pre formulation and formulation development is another important area and process development stability testing like this all these are related to the areas of pharmaceutical research and uh, pre clinical evaluations in experimental animals with regard to pharmacological effects toxicological effects and ADME all these are to be carried out so this also a type of research only particularly the biological research and clinical studies means research conducted in human subjects you know very well it is given the titles as phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 phase 4 studies and in humans only to evaluate the efficacy and safety of the drugs and uh, after marketing also one has to follow the performance of the drug that is done in the form of pharmacovigilance in which the possible uh, adverse effects during usage are, no, are recorded and depending upon the results the action will be taken either to sustain uh, their marketing or to ban their marketing and similarly clinical evaluation of uh, prescription treatments so how effective the prescriptions and the treatments used in hospitals to evaluate that it is a type of research also and then similarly outcomes research these are the research areas involved in the clinical aspects and qualities of an ideal researcher so we all eligible to be the research guides as well as we are responsible as teachers we are responsible for organizing the research activities in the college at the same time we are also responsible for training the students in the proper way such that later on when they join either industry or academia they will take the responsibility of conducting good quality research and for that purpose certain qualities are very essential like uh, all the researchers should be knowledgeable and competent and should possess considerable interest in research and expertise in the field of interest and skillful in the field of interest and critical but flexible and listens to others and good communications skills should be there and available and approachable these are the ideal requirements suppose uh, a, a researcher may be excellent excellent knowledgeable and skillful but he is not approachable to anybody he is of no use to the institution or the student like that all these six or seven qualities are considered as very important for a researcher and as teachers we should try to imbibe these qualities and i am sure that several of us having many of these requirements and if anything is missing individually they can, you can have an introspection and try to develop and principles and good practice of research like uh, the principle one that is absence of bias 
and uh, bias means uh, it is uh, uh, favorism so because the investigators are all human it is human weakness or human tendency that we favor some and uh, we put others at disadvantage like that it is otherwise known as a bias and uh, an experience should be free from bias there should not be any scope for introducing the bias and uh, why you should avoid bias because the rules of probability and the statistical comparisons are not applicable in the presence of bias so there should not be any bias and uh, for that there are different techniques followed in research one is the randomization in experimental studies the another is the blinding in clinical studies and use of placebo is one way of uh, avoiding the bias and uh, so in the randomization certain computer aided randomization techniques randomization is uh, resorted in the allotment of treatments to the experimental units or products to the uh, subjects so at the at the stage of allocation of the treatment to the experimental units or subjects the process of randomization is resorted and hence in no way uh, there is a scope for bias so blinding in the same manner the blinding techniques because the investigator the subject they do not know what product they are taking and hence the products are differently labeled and including a placebo and mixed up and then at random they are allocated to the subjects and experiments are conducted and similarly placebo placebo is a preparation just similar to the product test product and without the medicament it contains all others it looks like in the same manner and when mixed it is it is not difficult it very difficult to identify it's not possible even to identify which one is placebo and which one is the real one and hence when such is mixed up now automatically there is no scope for the investigator to put the bias into the system like this the simple techniques are available and then uh, the second principle comes to error control so error is uh, the difference between the true value and the estimated value and uh, the difference should be very very low because the purpose of conducting any experiment is the purpose of conducting any experiment is to estimate the unknown parameter and hence our method should be such that we estimate exactly the unknown quantity but because of chance forces always acting upon it's not possible to exactly find out what is the true value so always the estimated value uh, will in, will include some error and that error should be kept to minimum and hence why this error should be kept to minimum is one for accurate results the data obtained and are the results of the investigation should always be accurate and when error is the error is less we can make sensible comparisons though there is a little real difference if the error is more that will uh, over overshadow the little difference we cannot find out and hence for sensible comparisons we need a very low error and error due to random factors is otherwise called the chance variation if you do apalante valaku elanti chey cheyali chepite appudu continue cheppestam ga vere ide ipudu try le ganaka అంటే ఇప్పుడు ఇప్పుడు ఆపేసి అండి ఇప్పుడు వాళ్ళ వాళ్ళు అంత అంతసేపు ఉంటారు కదా నేను ఇంకా మరి కొద్దిగా ఇది కూడా ఇది చానల్ అయింది ఇది చూసి ఒకసారి చూసి నేను ప్లాన్ చేసుకుంటా వన్ అండ్ హాఫ్ అవర్లో కంప్లీట్ చేయాలి హలో సో అంత రికార్డ్ అయిపోతుంది నేను చెప్పు స్టాప్ చేయండి ఇక్కడ ఎలా ఇక్కడ ఎలా హలో హలో ఓకే ఓకే నా నా ఈజ్ ఇట్ క్లియర్ ది వాయిస్ దట్ బి క్లియర్ సార్ వాయిస్ వాయిస్ వన్ స్మాల్ ప్రాబ్లం సార్ సార్ వన్ స్మాల్ ప్రాబ్లం సార్ చెప్పండి సార్ యాక్చువల్లీ పవర్ పాయింట్ ప్రెజెంటేషన్ 
you power point uh. presentation is uh, uh. somewhat uh, some some are missing sir Up, uh, upper portion and lower portion are missing sir some sentences are missing oh, but it is clear here yes sir actually no, it is clear, uh, sir hmm uh, hmm hmm sir sir one second uh, jogendra ha uh, uh, sir ha uh, ha uh. jogendra gar ipudu anni cell phone la alaga avadam ledandi मिस्सींग For accurate results, above the two lines are there. One is main heading and another is side yes, heading. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They are missing. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
ओपन चेयर सर No sir, still it is same. Hello. स्क्रीन <laughs> सर इंका शेरिंग अवे यस सर फस्ट अभी का
ఇప్పుడున్న లేరు వాళ్ళు స్లైడ్ షో పెట్టట్లేదు